What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with droidforums.net. You know me better as DroidModderX, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install SafeStrap on the Droid 4. I've been waiting on this. Uh, we've known that Hashcode has been working on SafeStrap uh, for the past several weeks. He just got his Droid 4 not too long ago, and uh, ever since he got it, he has been steadily working on it. We should also have bootstrap recovery thanks to nitroglycerin within the next several weeks. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with SafeStrap, SafeStrap essentially is for uh, telephones that have a locked bootloader. It allows you to run one uh, what they call unsafe system, so that would be your main system. Uh, most of you guys will probably prefer to keep that stock rooted. And then the second system, this is called your safe system. This is for all your custom ROMs, uh, Cyanogen Mod. Uh, AOKP when we get some ports of that, MIUI, whatever you want to run on that second system, that'll always be safe. No matter what you do to that second system, it will not affect your primary unsafe system. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and flash the safe strap clockwork mod recovery uh, head to the link in the description that'll bring you to a uh, download link for this and once again this is developed by Hashcode so we're really grateful for that and you're looking for this D4 safe strap icon it's really simple all you have to do is hit install recovery make sure that you do not have any other uh, clockwork mod recovery installed uh, I know that there is a test version of bootstrap for the droid 4 that's available if you have installed that you need to uninstall it before installing this so once you've installed that you'll just reboot the phone so we'll power off and then power back on so for now we do have a few ROMs okay as soon as we'll, we'll see the safe strap come up and to boot into it we'll just hit the menu button within 10 seconds so hit the menu button if you wanted to uh, not get into safe strap if you wanted just to boot up your phone normally you would hit the uh, the search button uh, but for now we don't have any ROMs per se uh, we have some that were developed for the Razer that people say work. I'd be very careful with anything you do in SafeStrap for now as we don't have any FXZ fastboot files to flash back to stock. We really have no safety net. So anything you do here, uh, you have the potential to brick your device. Really, it's not a very large potential to brick your device since your, your main system will not be changed, just your secondary system. So there's not much of a risk here, but there is some risk and you should be aware of that. Uh, so the very first thing that you want to do here is make a backup. So just go to backup and restore. This is going to backup your primary system in case something goes afoul. You'll always be able to restore that. So we'll go ahead and make our backup. And we'll do that to the uh, internal SD card. And it says include web top in the backup, might as well. Now this backup is going to take several minutes, uh, so at this point I will go ahead and pause and we'll come back when it's finished and I'll show you uh, some more features in SafeStrap. Alright guys, that backup took about 15 or 20 minutes, so this is the screen that you'll get uh, whenever everything has been backed up. So if you ever wanted to restore that, you would just go down to uh, Backups and Restore, select that. The way we're navigating here is up and down volume, selecting with the power button there. And then, of course, you would hit Restore. And Internal SD is where we saved it, and there you have it. And it has uh, the date that we took that there, the 3-01-2012. Uh, you can also go in there and rename that with, like, a root explorer or something like that so that you don't forget. Uh, so to go back, we will just scroll down and go back. And I'm going to show you guys just a few more features of SafeStrap here. Uh, so, of course, if I went to install zip, I'm on, uh, it's a safe, safe system is disabled. So, right now I'm on my normal, regular system. I won't be able to install anything. If I go there, it's going to tell me that uh, that's only available when the safe system is enabled. So, it won't let you, in this, it will not let you modify your primary system. That's what we have bootstrap recovery for, uh, which it will be out pretty soon. Uh, so what we what we would do here is go to the safe boot menu. That's what makes this different is the safe boot menu. So go ahead and select that and you can toggle the safe system on or off. So if we toggle that we can go to yes enable safe system and that's where we can flash our 
that's where we can flash our ROM. Since once we have that enabled, we'll be able to flash that. I'm not going to enable it now because I really don't have anything to flash. Uh, but that is safe strap for the Droid 4. And pretty soon you'll be on your way to ROMing this device. And uh, all thanks to Hashcode, the developer who put together safe strap for this device. Uh, guys, for all the latest in news uh, for any Android device, head over to droidforums.net. Be sure to subscribe to this channel as we're going to keep it updated as much as we can. Also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And uh, like I said, head to Droid Forums. I'll see you guys in the forums. Thanks for watching.